it is I, them. Ryan. And, and me, there. DJ Numa. Yes, with the sultry voice. And we're here bringing you the 2022 Dragon Ball Z League Tenkaichi Bowl, the MVP tournament. As yes. you can see, we're currently going into round two. We have eight teams remaining. We're going to finish off the MVP tournament within this video. Yes. Make sure to, uh, make sure to uh, stay tuned to the end of the entire stream, or if you're watching on YouTube, uh, Friday's video, where we will have a super speaker special announcement that DJ and I don't even know about. And we're not trying to be facetious. We literally do not know. Yeah, we were we is. were told to leave the stream while while they did the setup for this announcement. So we really don't know what's going on. Door so, knows. <laughs> door knows, but we don't. So we will find out with you guys. So stick around for that. Anyway, let's get into round two here, Ryan. Who got up first? We got Fosh on Cinema, Krillin on Earth Defenders. Yes, and for this, we are going to only list the builds the first round. We've got Fasha with defense up to Dende's healing, Combo Master, Latent Energy, Quick Fast Attack, and Goku AI versus Krillin, who's got defense up to Dende's healing, Serious, Quick Fast Attack, Light Body, and Majin Buu AI. So it's the it's the attack of the tank builds. These guys have always had um, very fun matches to watch, like during the main season, because they are almost the exact same character. Yes. Uh, Fasha, I, back when they were the Valkyries, Fasha was one of the best characters on the team. For the fact, the sheer fact that she just got your face and punched the crap out of you. Um, she has a really and, good team. Yes. And Krillin has become that character. And I've loved watching him. So. Because I mean, they have they have a beam, they have the expanding energy wave. Their uh, ults are different, and their um, I think their B ones are also different. But it's still a uh, like their hits are just very similar to each other for yeah, like but, the melee attacks. But the biggest difference is that Krillin finds Fosu attractive. Oh boy! <laughs> oh yeah, he's helping. <laughs> Yeah, there hopefully he doesn't get mad, so... Now, I mean, I don't think he's going to do, because, Yay! you know, it's the team structure. And, and, and Grillin wins, wins it. it! Wow, I didn't expect that, actually. I kind of expected Fosha. But she, it looks like she'll win the match. Yep. Yes, she <laughs> does. And that means that Cinema moves on to round three. All right, and it looks like for our next fight, we have Sentai versus Namek. So we have Sentai with Birder. Yes. And, and Namek with Late Piccolo. So we've got Sentai coming in. They've got Birder in Attack Up 1, Serious, Quick Fast Attack, Eternal Life, and Trunks AI. And Namek coming in with Late Piccolo, Attack Up 2, Defense Minus 1, Eternal Life, Serious, Quick Fast Attack, and Chiaotzu AI. So, it again, very similar builds. Quick Fast Attack, one of the better guitars to be using for this tournament. And serious as well. Um, amazingly, I haven't seen any rising fighting spirit yet. Have you seen it, Ryan? I have not. I don't believe. Huh? So. So that's actually a first, I think, for the MVP. Nobody taking rising fighting spirit. A lot of these people do have like a two-bar B2, so they don't really need the five. They just need their starting two. And wow, uh, Bird are already getting some good damage. Here. Uh, actually, I think well, he beat Piccolo. Piccolo's yeah. up by almost a bar. A full bar now, and a ring out! Uh, Piccolo moves on immediately! How can anyone be wow! Thinking he's gotten it, because, like, maybe during the slam animation, Piccolo was just touching the wall. But no, Piccolo will move on, and our third match is Hybrids with Ultimate Gohan, and Resurrected Warriors with Majub. Yes, uh, Ultimate Gohan coming in with Attack Up 2, Quick Fast Attack, Latent Energy, Eternal Life, and Chiaotu AI. And Majub with Resurrected Warriors. Wow. Yeah, Resurrected Warriors coming in with Super Up 1, Launch Support, Eternal Life, and Chiaotu AI. You guys will notice Chiaotu AI, a very common Patara for this tournament. And uh, that's just because they like Chiaotu AI tends to like to win. spam things a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I, I think within like the 
description, it's supposed to be a B1 sort of spammer, but yeah, see, that's why we don't need the Rising Fighting Spirit. The Super Energy Wave Volley only costs two. Yeah, but you see, you could just Super Energy Wave Volley, Super Energy Wave Volley, Super Energy Wave Volley. But that costs six, you only have five. Yeah, but you got a fast charge rate anyway. Oh, the weird grab! <laughs> yes! <laughs> With a Super Kamehameha to follow it up. Uh, I love weird grabs. They're fun. Yep. Please. I don't even know how that one would have, like, tried to activate it. Like, you do I. He's only got one arm. I don't know where the second one came from. That's the wrong Gohan. This is fine. It's the same Gohan if you think about it hard enough. I mean, it's a good jerk. It's not like there are multiverse in the, um, in the Dragon Ball Z lore. Yeah, you know? not at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ultimate Gohan might only go for knockouts. <laughs> yeah, if, if he does, if he does and he wins it, I will, I will just give hybrids an actual trophy. Um, uh, all right, you heard it here first, hybrids. Oh, well, never mind. And Gohan, <laughs> moving on to the next round. Oh my God, we could have a very interesting finals. I just realized. Um, yes, we but could. I'll mention that. At, I'll mention that in the next match or after the next match we have androids with super perfect cell versus royals with metacore yes and super perfect cell again coming with attack up one launching support ten days healing series quick fast attack and piccolo ai versus the royals with metacore master blast ten days healing power of rage and frieza ai uh, yeah, you missed. The, I didn't hear the defense plus two, but Royals uh, Medical Lord does have a defense plus two. Yes, because I only heard the Master Blast like to the start. All right, uh, which Android you? Uh, Medical Lord. Okay, I'm calling it now as a cold fan. Because we've got Baka. Yeah, I don't know. We got to stop. He goes Baka, Baka, Baka. I don't know what that means. You're saying things that are... I'm too old for this. Stop speaking in millennials. You're younger than me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know, I was only born yesterday like so. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> oh. You see, folks, for the record, we throw another Ryan every year. It's kind of like cyber. I can help it. Nice combo by Medical. Yes, that was actually kind of impressive. Uh, and he's keeping it even with Super Perfect a Cell, but oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, and oh, he's alive! Almost the ring out! Almost the ring out! Cell missed by about oh. a foot! Oh! Will we get the ring out? He's got the finger blitz for us right here well, in the barricade. Well, Cell was, uh, Cell was stopping at that point anyway. Uh, perfect combo. No oh, block. he's he's not stun broken though. I thought he would have been. No, he had the two bars. Oh, my goodness. Back flash. Out. Really close. Nope. Touching the top of that does not count as a ring out. Apparently, even though know, King Piccolo ran into it. <laughs> well, oh, King Piccolo would have stun broken. I forgot about that. Really? I don't yeah. Think and it actually looks like Super Perfect Cell is uh, going to go for the KO here. But Metacooler is behind him nope. right now. And the KO by Super Perfect Cell. <laughs> that means <laughs> that Androids are moving on to the semifinals. Well done, Androids. And we're, we're not ending the episode. We're just going straight into it. We have Cinema with Fasha versus Piccolo, late Piccolo on uh, Namek. We yep. could have a Piccolo Namek or a uh, Piccolo Gohan fight in the finals. That would be amazing. But for the second round of the semifinals, we are going to be going with Cell versus Gohan. So Fasha versus Piccolo, who's going to win? Tell me I, in the chat. I'm tell me in the chat. And if you're not in the chat, tell me in the comments below. And immediately, Piccolo coming in with against Fasha. Well, you know, gotta get those little rush blasts in. And then I like your name. No, you mean cherry berry. No. Like, oh, well, never ah. mind. Bye, Piccolo. Oh, his father. And uh, allowing Cinema to go forward <laughs> to the finals. He just didn't want to face Gohan, man.
Oh, Piccolo, you you ruined the fan dream. <laughs> womp womp. Womp womp womp. Anyway, we've got Gohan taking on Super Perfect Cell in, um, you know, kind of a rematch of sorts from the show. Uh, um, yeah, few, I, assu I assume that's the in the. I assume that's the super movie that I have not watched yet. So please, no spoilers in the comments. I have not watched superhero either. I'm just saying yourself. that there was a GT movie where he showed up. So you know, the only GT movie was, was one, or not the one, but. And Ryan has died again. Anyway, so has Gohan. What just happened perfect... to my thing? It's, it's <laughs> With Super Perfect Cell going in and getting the exact opposite of what Ryan wanted for the finals, we have Cinema taking on the Android. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ryan. Am I better? You are better now, but honestly, Gohan's not doing that good. We've got Super uh, Perfect Cell versus Basha in the MVP Finals. Who will be the most valuable player of the league? The poll is up. Please vote quickly, because this could end in seconds. You know, Muscle has a sort of rivalry with the androids because of just how many I'm times going to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. I would not. I would not be upset if <laughs> Ultimate Gohan or Gohan, uh, if Super Perfect Cell Where? ended up winning. But I think I think cinema needs something. They haven't cinema been in the cinema deserves it. Yeah, they, they're a newer team. They were eliminated from being in the bowl uh, or even just in the playoffs. Um, you know, this is a great way for them to get at least a little something. It is. Uh, oh, never mind. And it's gone. Congratulations, androids, on your win. <laughs> and androids win it. They are the MVP. They get the dunce cap. There is no they dunce win. cap. They win. There is a dunce cap. I will I will put on the dunce cap. And the poll actually got it right with 65% of you thinking that Super Perfect Cell will win. For those of you who are not in the chat, the live stream, we stream every, well, we, during the main season, we stream every Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you're here. You can participate in these chats as well as these polls and you can actually give your vote so on that note ryan uh we've got a couple of a uh, couple of housekeeping gifts here for the people at the end of this stream we've got a super special announcement happening but what else do we need them to do ryan we need you to like, subscribe, ring the bell. Check out the links in the description below for our Discord, our TikTok, our Twitter, uh, if we are going to decide to keep that around, or, or our website. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. And on that oh, note... Just, I just realized Android's winning has given them the MVP and the bronze title. So, hey, yes. good job, Androids. Well played, Androids. There you go. And for those of you who don't know, folks, we run this entire league out of our Discord. So if you want to join a team, you want to join up and help out a team, we're entering the offseason, you can do that right now. If you want to help Cinema get Fasha better and be sure that she's the MVP next season, you can do that. Just join the Discord, join Cinema, and you guys can test out Fasha all offseason. Make her that much better. Anyway. With that said, I've been DJ Numa. I've been Ryan. That I hopefully don't go through a tunnel. And hopefully Ryan doesn't go through a tunnel. As we say, we will see you next season. Farewell.